Good day everyone. So today we have to learn about distances on earth's surface. So when we start discussing about distances on earth's surface, we have to understand that in earth it is longitude and latitude. Okay? If we see here this is a earth, okay? One is the meridian side and the another one is prime meridian side. Okay, so if we have to calculate the distances from any position, position number A to position number B means basically if we are flying from supposedly in this specific diagram, if you see here, we are flying from South America all the way to North America. So there is a change in longitude and latitude. So how to calculate the distances on that point? If we are flying supposedly in this term if i will say if i am flying from equator this is zero degrees equator point number a to point number b okay this is just a change in latitude so we are flying a great circle track in this one so how to calculate the distances between these two positions so there is a formula for that that we are going to use create circle track so distances tenses of great circle track how to calculate that is equals to difference in latitude multiplied by 60 because every degree we change we change a distance of 60 nautical miles so if supposedly in this question there is a change of 30 degree of latitude so the answer will be 30 degree difference in latitude multiplied by 60 which will give me an answer of 180 nautical miles of change so that is the distance okay now in secondary portion if we are flying from position number A to position number C in this scenario means there is a change in longitude and latitude both. So the distances will be calculated due to the curvature is the rum line track. So distances of rum line track will be formula is difference in longitude how much change in longitude degrees multiplied by cos latitude okay so difference in longitude in this scenario let's assume it is 10 degrees for each longitude so 10 20 and 30 degrees of longitude change 30 degrees of longitude change into cos 30 degree of your latitude change so what will be the answer 30 into cos 30 will give me an answer of how much give me an answer of 25 degrees okay up now because you have to calculate the distance should be nautical miles we will multiply it by 60 which will give me an answer of 1558 nautical miles okay now let's go forward so this was about the formula of distances of great circle track and rum line track. Now, if we see here, I have wrote down the units to remember. Okay, please take a screenshot of this one or you can write it down if you like. One degree of traveling in earth directions will be 60 nautical miles. One minute will be as one nautical miles. One nautical miles will be at 6080 feet 
at 45 degree and at equator it will be 6040 feet 1 meter is equals to 3.28 feet and one statute mile will be 0.87 nautical miles and one nautical mile will be 1.85 kilometers let's go forward and discuss a couple of questions so let's i have wrote down some questions here let's see this question an aircraft flying from 27 degree 27 minutes north 30 degrees and 24 minute east to point number b 27 degree 27 minute north and 108 degrees 47 minute east find the rum line distance let's solve this question okay solution so first of all as i see this question the difference in longitude will be what will be this because as you know is that the long will be calculated based on the direction they are following so let's find the d long d long is difference in longitude d long is equals to 108 degrees 47 minute minus 30 degree and 24 minute east why we are subtracting here is because they both are on the same direction easterly region okay if you subtract you'll get an answer of 78 degrees and 23 minutes okay so this was your d long now if you see the latitude is same 27 degree not 27 degree not there is only change in longitude so the formula is what we have to use the formula of departure departure is equals to we have to calculate the rum line distance so we will write d long multiplied by cos latitude d long here we have calculated 78 degrees and 23 minutes multiplied by cos latitude is 27 degree and 27 minutes 27 degree and 27 minutes which will give me an answer of four thousand one hundred and seventy three nautical miles okay now let's do one more question so that we will have a clear knowledge of distances to calculate There is one more question here. Let's see this one. Let's solve this question. Okay. If you can see this question here. Let's solve this question as well. It says position A is given 45 degree north. Find the position of E means what will be the longitude. Position number B is given as 45 degree north, 50 degree, 50 minutes east. Distance from A to B is already given, which is 280 nautical miles. It says B, e, B is to the east of A. What is the longitude position of A? So again the formula will come into place departure is equals to d long multiplied by cos lat now here we have only one longitude position that is 50 degree 50 minutes not the other one so we have to find the difference in longitude how we will find out so departure is the distance so distance is already given that is 
280 nautical miles so we will put it into the formula it says 280 is equals to d long let's say d long is d long d long multiplied by cos latitude what is my latitude latitude is given as 45 degree north so we will say d long now this is just a basic formula that we have to play along d long is equals to 280 upon cos 45 degree what will be the answer let's calculate so if this you will calculate it the answer will be 395 but this is in nautical miles If we have to calculate the difference in long longitude, we have to calculate it into degrees. So we will divide it by 60, which will give us in degrees and minutes. So the answer will be the difference in longitude is 6 degree 35 minutes. Okay. Now, if they now the question is B position is to the east of A means a is on the westerly side so if we have to see it b is here and a is on the westerly direction okay so we will subtract 50 degree 15 minutes to 6 degree 35 minutes which will give us the longitude of a so the longitude of a is equals to longitude of b minus difference in longitude which will give an answer of 50 degree 15 minutes minus 6 degree and 35 minutes so the answer will be 43 degrees and 39 minutes in this scenario okay so this is your answer if you guys have any questions regarding this topic do comment please like share and subscribe thank you for watching the video